What is reality capture? Using a high definition laser scanner as shown here, it captures a digital 3D representation of a subject from the real world. The example shown on the left is an exterior portion of a building and its adjacent site. With this type of scanner known as a LiDAR scanner, it uses light detection and ranging to capture the precise measurements along with high resolution color photos to capture the true environment. As an end product, multiple of these scans are stitched together to create what is known as a 3D point cloud. Let's consider for a moment the application of this technology to the design, construction, and facilities management of a building. These two examples show the benefit of having the point cloud when designing new spaces with existing conditions to contend with. The example on the left here is a point cloud of the neighboring tenant space below. This enabled us to design the new plumbing and ductwork systems with high precision, reducing rework, enabling us to prefabricate, reducing the cost of installation, as well as reducing the time we spent in the neighbor's space. The example on the right is a scan, or a photo from the scan, of a empty tenant space waiting to be designed. I'll show you that one from inside the actual point cloud software. Here you can see that this point cloud is something that can be navigated. It's a true 3D environment of the measurements. Also we see that each scan location produces a 360 degree photosphere. This enables us to view the site as if we were there taking a virtual tour. Very beneficial for design teams, architects, and engineers as they design a space where they might have to make multiple trips to the site to get information. As you can see, these are fully able to be dimensioned because these photos are linked to the 3D measurements. You can see I can get pipe diameters here from existing piping. We can also do something like measure finished floor elevations of ductwork above the ceiling, etc. If I switch over to the actual design model, what we'll notice is the architect and engineers have designed a system for this space of large conference rooms with a folding partition wall. This partition wall requires a newly installed beam but what the laser scan enables us to do, here we see that the point cloud reveals that that ductwork will have to be adjusted, refabricated, or this design will simply have to be adjusted in order to accommodate what is already in the tenant space because we have a conflict here with this duct and this new partition wall designed system. These point clouds are easily overlaid to existing design models from architects and engineers, enabling a high level of constructability review. This example shows the ability of the point cloud to enhance the quality and coordination of a project during construction. The image you see here is the point cloud overlaid to our structural concrete shear wall model. And this enabled us to coordinate highly all the many openings that were required in these concrete shear walls. As the walls were being formed and rebar was being put in these walls, we know that existing conditions or conditions in the field require us to move and adjust things at times. Therefore, as we laser scanned these, it enabled us to go back to our 3D coordination model with the mechanical electrical, fire sprinkler trades, and have them make those adjustments to their coordination model prior to fabrication so that when they came out to the field they found these openings precisely where they had anticipated them and had fabricated for them. Again, creating efficiency for the contractors and improving quality, reducing rework and tear out of new work. Another beneficial application to building owners is when the need arises to generate accurate as-builts 
of an existing facility. The example you see here is an approximately 62,000 square foot historic auditorium that needed architectural and structural as-built drawings produced so that a modernization design could be started. Using the point cloud and laser scan also enabled us to produce this as-built in an enhanced digital 3D model. The screenshots here show how that digital model was produced in order for the structural and architectural engineer to use. So you can see the different parts of the laser scan even of the attic and interstitial spaces. The facts of this project were that it took about four days of on-site scanning, a little over 210 scan locations, but this reduced the architect and engineers fees for all the site investigation that they would have had to do to verify these hundreds of rooms in this building. These point clouds also became useful on multiple other projects such as an HVAC or air conditioning modernization that was done prior to the building modernization. It enabled the contractor to coordinate with existing conditions in the plenum space below and design this new air conditioning system. Owners also benefit by campus planning when using these reality capture techniques. Here is an existing space where we scanned this interior portion of the building, removed the furniture that was in the existing space, and were able to show multiple different scenarios of furniture layouts within the existing conditions. This too could be navigated in 3D space as desired to see how the space felt with these layouts. The example at the top shows an existing conditions scan of a site where a new building was desired to be put in on this campus. Below you see that new design concept of the 3D model and where it would sit into the hill and the heights that it would represent to the adjacent building. Beyond that we can get perspective 3D views. The example at the top was that same existing condition without the new design. And at the bottom we can cut out the portion of the existing conditions that would be demoed and show the new building design as it would be and as it would interface with your existing campus. In summary, the benefits of reality capture can be applied throughout the entire life cycle of a building or a campus for that matter. We can see the different parts or phases of that life cycle that it can affect or improve by means of cost savings, time savings, or increased quality. So when an owner takes advantage of this technology early in the project planning, it really helps improve the overall outcome of the project.